Welcome back everybody, it's David again from Real Hardware Reviews. And today on the review bench we have the Alienware R13. Now we already looked at the R12 from last year. Although the aesthetics are remarkably similar, the all new Alienware Aurora is more powerful, efficient and quiet than the previous release. The R13 also features Alienware's redesigned Legend 2.0 chassis, which has more internal space and is supposed to improve the overall airflow. The case has a striking and distinct appearance. It also features a well-balanced RGB lighting array with many stylish presets. The new R13 chassis, it also has an option of a transparent side panel for an additional fee, which is unfortunate because it's not included in the price. The Aurora 13's entire body has been deeply customized, so a tool-free disassembly is a key feature of this chassis. Simply loosen a screw on the back and pull the padlock ring and the side panel will pop up and be easily removed. At the same time, some of the components such as the fans and the graphics card and support can be easily disassembled, which makes repairs much easier. Now let's get into the components. The Alien Aurora can be equipped with the most cutting edge gaming parts. Our review unit is a little less flashy with fewer cosmetic flourishes, but it does include a liquid cooled Intel Core i7 12700KF CPU, an Nvidia GeForce RTX 37 GPU, and also 16 gigs of DDR5. To top it off, we have two storage drives, a 500 gig NVMe, and also a one terabyte hard drive. As we previously mentioned, this year we get an AIO cooler for the CPU, but it's only a 120 millimeter model that's mounted on the back of the case. Given that CPUs are becoming more powerful and more heat hungry, keeping your thermals in check will be critical for this unit. The biggest spec upgrade for the R13 this year is with Intel's latest 12th gen core processor. Alder Lake is a hybrid of Golden Cove and Grace Mount for architectural types. So the main difference between this generation and the previous one is that it supports both DDR4 and DDR5 memory. The mighty Core i7-12700KF powers our review unit, which has eight performance cores with hyper-threading and four efficiency cores to handle lightweight threads and background tasks. The CPU's maximum turbo clock of 5.0 GHz as well as its impressive single-thread performance will draw attention to our benchmarks. Despite its gaming focus, the Aurora R13 is almost certain to perform other multi-threaded heavy lifting tasks, as well as a good portion of web browsing and day-to-day -day operations. As a result, we use Cinebench R23, Geekbench 5, and also PCMark to see what the Core i7-12700K can do other than play video games. The Alienware Aurora R13 makes an immediate impression. This processor achieved around 21,244 points in multi-core and also 1,878 points with a single core in Cinebench R23, much faster than when we previously benchmarked it with Rocket Lake. In PC Mark, the R13 received nearly 8,000 points, and in Geekbench 5, we got 1,858 on the single core and 13,256 points on the multi-core test. In terms of raw processing power, the Aurora R13 is in a class of its own, and the importance of having a system with a newer 12th gen chip was immediately apparent in our tests. Unsurprisingly, all that power came in handy when we're juggling multiple apps and Chrome tabs for work or playing through PC games. Talking about gaming performance, cutting edge games like Cyberpunk 2077 and Forza 5 ran like a dream here especially when using breakthroughs like DLSS. We ran the games on a Dell high refresh rate monitor with a 1440p resolution. In this resolution, you can expect high frame rates in almost any game, especially if it supports DLSS. Looking into our synthetic benchmarks once again, in 3D Mark's Time Spy, the rig obtained 13,386 points and also a whooping 15,010 points in the CP score. Not only that, in Port Royale ray tracing tests, we are able to get around 7,974 points. Moving on to real gaming benchmarks, the R13 managed to get around 82 FPS in Forza with extreme settings. Now, if you knocked it down a bit, you can actually get around 100 plus FPS, matching almost closely to what the refresh rate of this monitor is. 
Now, looking at Cyberpunk 2077, we pulled in a respectable 60 to 70 FPS with DLSS turned on, which is a really great number for this game. Testing out Halo Infinite on max graphics in multiplayer, we never dip below 100 FPS, even in the most intense battles. Now, talking about intense, the R13 CPU cooler or the AIO cooler here is definitely not adequate for this processor. The issues emerge when you attempt to push the R13 outside of gaming, specifically with our synthetic benchmarks. Sadly, we are seeing temperatures of around 100 degrees Celsius when under load, which ultimately means it will thermal throttle, and we're not able to get the full performance of the i7-2700KF. If we're getting such high temps on the i7, then the i9 is going to be extremely toasty if you were to equip that with this rig. And this all boils down to the 120mm AIO. You'll definitely need a 240mm or 360mm radiator in order for this CPU to be cooled properly to get the max performance. Since we have such a small radiator, that means the bulk of the tower's cooling is also done by fans. And what a racket they make. When the fans ramp up, the Aurora R13 howls like a jet engine. The screaming fans thankfully are not sustained and only really fire up when the system is under load. And if you're wondering how much of that load will actually impact on your wallet, well, the R13 is accessible now beginning at $12.99 in the US or $14.99 in Canada. That arrangement will get you an Intel Core i5 12400F 8 gigs of RAM and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1615 Super. I would have said this is a pretty reasonable price point, but considering that the crypto market has finally crashed, you can actually build a PC for fairly cheap nowadays with the availability being as it is right now. If you're not looking to build your own machine, then the Aurora R13 is somewhat of a robust customizable gaming desktop for those who prefer to buy a prefab machine rather than build their own. Now, as mentioned previously, there are some cooling performance issues, specifically with the CPU cooler. If you choose a properly spec CPU that doesn't get as toasty as it is, then this PC will do it for you. Overall, it's an attractive desk piece designed for streamers who want to have a cool looking tower in the background of their shot. So if you want to pre-built with all these cool aesthetics, then the Aurora R13 is the gaming PC for you. And thus, this brings us to the end of our review. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope you enjoy the review. And as always, please remember to hit that like button for the good old YouTube algorithm. This is David from Real Hard Reviews, signing out.